So you might have heard that if we have a lot of little earthquakes, it will keep the big earthquakes from happening, but that's not actually true. The small ones relieve a little bit of stress, but not enough to relieve all the stress that's building up in the earth. And so we're still gonna get the big earthquakes. So you just have to be prepared. Some say stand in a doorway. Others say run outside. Forget all of that. Just drop cover and hold on. When the shaking starts, know what to do. Drop cover and hold on. Okay, so you may have heard the myth that during an earthquake, California is eventually gonna break off and fall into the ocean. There's two things here. Firstly, the ocean isn't just some big hole. You're not just gonna fall off and disappear beneath the waves. And actually the truth is that the San Andreas is a lateral fault. So actually Southwestern California is moving up towards Alaska and Los Angeles is moving its way towards San Francisco. Very slowly. <laughs> Sorry. Those of us that live in earthquake prone regions might have heard the superstition that surface weather and earthquakes are related. To this date, no evidence proving this has been found. Earthquakes occur miles beneath the ground and far away from areas that, that are affected by surface weather. Therefore, whether if it's rainy, cloudy, sunny, windy, there is no direct evidence or possibility that surface weather is affecting the seismic activity. We live in earthquake country. We will have earthquakes. There's really no way for us to predict earthquakes. We've been uh, looking at this for 30 years now. It uh, seems to be even more difficult than predicting the stock market. And if I could predict the stock market, I wouldn't be here. Thank <laughs> you.